So we just got done playing a whole bunch of Nightwolf in MK9. This is the most I've ever played of the character. And we got to see Nightwolf today in MK11. Uh, I want to go over his design in a, in a little bit because I haven't actually checked out his design yet. In slow motion. I actually want to see what this dude looks like in proper slow motion. Uh, because all I saw was a weird little metal penis helmet, and that was about it. But uh, in terms of his gameplay, I think Nightwolf is a... For MK9, a very, very good balance of an all-rounder. This character is absolutely an all-rounder. He has a decent launcher, he has an unblockable, he has a projectile, and he has an assortment of moves that just feel like he doesn't excel in anything. He's not extremely good at zoning, he's not insanely good at close range, he's just like right in between, right in between the few. I generally like characters in Mortal Kombat, um, between MK9, MKX, and even MK11. I like the characters that are all-rounders, I really do. So it's my personal hope that Nightwolf retains a lot of the flavor that he has in this game. However, I know it's not going to happen. I know that they're changing things so much in MK11 that he's probably going to be a completely different character. So I, I unfortunately don't think he's going to be... Hmm. I want him to be that way, but I don't think it's going to happen. I, I hope he at least has a few different launcher options. Like, the last thing I want is for him to be, like, a couple of strings into a special move, and that's pretty much the majority of what the character does. That kind of... I, I actually really liked Shang Tsung, but Shang Tsung is a big a big part of him is canceling into skulls, and... I think I actually think Shang Tsung got a lot of strings that I really enjoy about the character, but... Man, it all really comes down to this move. Like, you really need to to do Skull Toss, and that ends up being a huge part of the character. I just hope that a lot of his variation stuff is... is nice and varied, as actually gives me a proper choice. And which leads me to, like, the second part of the conversation that I really wanted to talk about. <clears throat> uh, variations in MK11. I saw that they are already adding variation stuff on the screen, where if you pick your character against each other, you actually see what special moves you have. That makes me think they're starting with this variation stuff, that they might be, at some point in the future, allowing us to choose the moves for our variations instead of locking them like they currently have in ranked mode of the game. That, if there's like a big... If there's like a big thing of MK11 that I, that I would hope that the developers would allow the players to have, because I want to play ranked, I just don't, because I feel so limited of what the characters can do in ranked mode. Um, I feel it's one of the things that hurts MK11's gameplay more than anything, is preventing the players from actually having the creativity to choose their moves. It's like having MKX, but just a third of MKX. Because even the characters have less stuff per variation than they can do than they did in MKX. So please, dear god, NRS, at some point, maybe after EVO, after your big tournament, let us choose those moves and just put the moves on the screen. Like, that'd be so, so much better and allows so much more creativity than just having to be locked to one to three special moves, and some of those moves aren't even good. Um, I, I, I get that they're trying to balance the game. I get it. They're, they're an eSports. It's, MK is an eSport thing now. They have to worry about their, their, their combat tournaments. They have to worry about, you know, all their big events, the, the things of their stages. I get it. It's eSports, and they, wanna, they, wanna, they don't want to have to worry about the balance of that as much as possible. I'm saying for the sake of the game just being fun, fun for longevity, please, please just let us be able to choose our moves in, in ranked modes. Please let us be able to do that. Let that be a part of the core gameplay experience, because for now it's not. I am pretty much limited to playing just player matches, and I'm okay with that. Like, if they want people to just play player matches, then okay. But that's where I spend all my time on this game online, or where I, where I have spent the most of my time. <clears throat> And I want to enjoy the ranked modes. I like ranked. I like being put up against other people that are of similar skill rank. I like the games coming down to the wire. I think that's the most fun in fighting games. So, it's a, it's a weird complaint. And I know, I know a lot of people probably are just fine with the way ranked is right now. But for me personally, I think all those special moves shouldn't be going to waste. Just like they were in Injustice 2. So, I see the same thing happening all over again with Injustice 2. And I would hopefully hope that that doesn't take place in this game, too. So, uh, Nightwolf's design... A lot more... He still has his, like, leather jacket, but it's very... I actually don't mind it. I think it's a little generic still. It doesn't have a ton of personality, but I do like his little metal shoulders and his metal arm blades. 
I think that looks neat. The thing I'm really bugging on is his weird Baraka hat. Why do you have a weird Baraka hat, Nightwolf? Hmm. I think, I think a lot of the body armor looks very cool. I'm just not sold on his funky hat. It's a, it's an interesting, uh, but that's gonna be like one of those things that you can hopefully change, right? Yeah, he's like got a Shao Kahn hat in many ways. It's kind of weird. Um, I, th I think it's the best Nightwolf has ever looked. Absolutely. However, I still don't think it ha it holds a candle to the other really, really good versions of like Native American characters that we've seen in some fighting games, like, you know, obviously Thunder and things like that. We haven't talked about it very much, but Thunder is rumored to have a skin for Nightwolf, like Nightwolf would actually have a Thunder skin, which would be absolutely friggin' amazing. Uh, that is like literally one of the coolest scenarios, is if he gets the headdress of Thunder and the war paint of Thunder, like, oh my god. Because, yeah, dude, his axes are very similar to what Thunder had. To think that we could potentially get this over Nightwolf? Oh my god, dude, that would be badass. If Nightwolf plays the way he does in MK9 just a little bit, and he actually has this design, I would be very happy. Like, that might be a character that I would naturally gravitate towards just initially, inherently. I think that'd be really damn cool. I love this design. It is just the sickest... Some of the sickest shit in fighting games. I would give Nightwolf's design here. It's definitely better than the original, right? Like, this is definitely, definitely better than what Nightwolf has ever looked like, which was just a dude in, like, a leotard. Uh, in, in many ways. It was just, like, a guy with... a weird... weird blue pants and shit. And I think this is a lot better than that. I think this is a lot better. It actually, it actually looks like some sort of like Mad Max, like Road Warrior kind of stuff. So I'm cool with that. It's just the helmet. We're gonna have to change this weird helmet. We gotta change the Shao Kahn slash Baraka helmet. That is the funkiest part. The funkiest part of the, the design is that. I like his war paint, all that stuff. I think it's, I wanna hear him talk. Um, it does feel, yeah. And that's, that's the impression I kind of get. It feels like they're trying to be a little safe. It feels like they're trying to be kind of safe on this one. But I think that's because they have different costume options. Like, they actually have... It's MK11. Customizability is a big aspect of it. We're gonna get multiple comp costume options on this guy. I'm ex This is a great shot. I'm excited. I'm excited. I... But it... Dude, it comes down to gameplay. Like, everything about this stuff comes down to gameplay. Please let his moves... Let him have a nice variety of special moves that are good and fun. Let him be an all-rounder. Give him some projectiles. Give him, like, his unblockable back. Let him have his axe launcher, like, give him the things that make him fun in MK9. Because... No, 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 no shit, I've played a few characters in MK9 now, and Noob Saibot's very... I like a lot. But Nightwolf is a much more fun character to play. He doesn't seem like he's really good, he doesn't seem to have a low starter, from what I could tell, which makes it a little tough, and... Most of his stuff starts off as, like, mids. But... Doing combos with Nightwolf is crazy fun. And I know we're not gonna get dash, dash, jab combos, but... The all-rounder aspect is what they need to do. Please, just make him an all-rounder in many ways. Give him some good- give him some good pokes, give him more strings like Shang Tsung. That's what I liked about Shang Tsung, more strings! Give us more stuff we can do with the characters. Please, please, please.